Why might we use buspirone in generalized anxiety disorder? Well, first of all, generalized anxiety disorder has the symptoms of crimes, which is concentration is reduced. They have restlessness, they have irritability, muscle tension, low energy and sleep disturbances. So GAD is a condition of generalized anxiety about multiple worries that also often keeps these patients up at night. Now with GAD, these patients are worried about various aspects of living, of daily life, especially most days of the week, um, and it has to last longer than six months. Now the first line is cognitive behavioral therapy and SSRIs, okay? Um, SSRIs and SNRIs. Second line is this anxiolytic called buspirone. This anxiolytic is for anti-anxiety. It's a serotonin 5-HT1A agonist. So it's a 5-HT1A agonist. And the interesting thing about buspirone is that it has no risk of dependence. So unlike your benzodiazepines, which are also second line for um, anxiety, they have a higher risk of dependence because they act to the GABA-A receptors and can cause tolerance. Now with ben BZDs, benzodiazepines, they have a higher risk of dependence and they also co-interact with um, alcohol, okay, and barbs barbiturates. However, buspirone does not affect the GABA-A receptor, so it does not um, cause issues with interactions with other agents. It has no risk of dependence because it acts at the serotonin receptor. And the other thing is, it's not really used acutely because it can take two to four weeks to start working, so we don't use it in acute settings.